was 15 years ago. Thanks, buddy. Thanks so much. Good luck, Tony. Thank you. All Take right. care. The Wedkinburg starting gate has rolled into position. You see the wings opening up, so it is time to head to the top of the stands. It's the Hall of Famer. It's the voice, Roger Houston. Horses approaching the gate. Second elimination, Little Brown Jug, Courtly Choice, Hayden Hanover, Hitman Hill, Stay Hungry, Dorsidero Hanover, Decoy on the outside. Mike Wilkinburg starting gate, swings into the stretch, and here they come. Second elimination of the Little Brown Jug. Off and pacing between horses, Hitman Hill. Inside Hayden Hanover, three wide into the turn. Stay hungry. Dorsodero Hanover gets away fourth. Decoy fifth. Trailing the field, Courtly Choice. Straight alignment, down the backside they go. Hayden Hanover leads it by a length and a quarter. Not gonna wait any longer. Doug McNair, stay hungry. Now second and going right on to the top. Opening quarter. In 26 and 2. Into the turn they go. Stay hungry. On top of the field by two. Racing second. That's Aiden Hanover. Around the turn. Racing third. Hitman Hill. Dorsodero Hanover's out and moving for Matt Kakele. Now fourth. Now third. Coming on. Passing the stands first time. We got three in. We got three out. Decoy second over on the outside and trailing the field. Courtly Choice at the halfway point. 55, 28 and 3, second panel. Stay hungry with the lead. On the outside, second, Dorsodero Hanover. Trapped in, Hayden Hanover is third. On to the backside they go, racing fourth. It's Decoy on the outside, and here comes David Miller and Courtly Choice from dead last. Three wide, now six, now fifth, now fourth on the outside. Three quarters, 122 and four, 27 and four third panel around the final turn three wide on the outside comes courtly choice and david miller on the inside it's stay hungry in between horses they come to the wire dorsodero hanover courtly choice on the outside stay hungry on the inside dorsodero to the wire it's stay hungry 150 and four fifths wow a lot going on in there, Dave. <laughs> yeah, we said that one wouldn't finish one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> for sure. Wow. And how about that? The other horse from the rail that nobody talked about making a break made an unexpected break before the start. And here it is. Let's show it to you right yeah. behind the gate here. Uh, Cordley Choice is going to go into the gallop. He's getting a little steppy right there. Hopefully he wasn't trying to duck inside the gate. But Dave Miller was not able to keep him uh, pacing. He makes the break right there. Everybody's game plan then went right out the window. Exactly. And it worked out great for Stay Hungry. He settled in, uh, quarter moved, made the front, and never looked back. Courtly Choice, an incredible recovery. <laughs> May have been second. It was very tight in a photo between uh, Courtly Dura Choice Han and Duro yeah, Sura Hanover. I, I think it's I think it's 4 5 one. We'll uh, check that or whatever. And, of course, we're going to get the inquiry sign. Here's Roger. Against... The unofficial winner, stay hungry. Two inquiries. Two inquiries. Possible interference going to the quarter and possible pylon violation around the final turn. Two inquiries against number four, stay hungry, possible interference and possible pylon One, violation. Two, three. Oh boy. Oh boy. It looked like he was inside Hold three on to pylons. All mutual tickets. What? As soon as they hit the wire, Dave, I said we had a lot going on there. I wasn't even close. There was even more than that. The, the drama. The drama, which is always. Just like WWE. Oh, baby. You were talking about Courtly Choice. There he is on the far outside, hanging on that left line. But what a recovery to at least ensure his position in the final. Yeah. Just missing second. Uh, that was a wild one. And wow. uh, two inquiries against the winner. Boy. <laughs> you don't see that every day. I wonder how long this is going to take. Yeah. Well, it, no lights here, you know. Yeah, no, well, they're not blinking. The only number on the board right now is four no. in the first position. I mean, no track yeah. lights. No. We got to move along. <laughs> yeah. Waiting in front of us, uh, provided he's determined to be the elimination winner, is Doug McNair. He's got a very calm, cool, and collected stay hungry ready. Against the poor horse. 
Stay hungry. Hold on to all mutual tickets. Well, Stay Hungry is taking it well. As yeah. you can see, nice and relaxed. He is the uh, view of a perfect and professional racehorse because this is going to take a few minutes. This is, I, uh, I can't remember the last double inquiry no. I saw, and certainly not in a stakes race. No, certainly not in the Little Brown Jug. No, I, I can't either. So they're going to have to take a look at a couple of different things. We are going to need to take a look at a few more replays here just to give you an idea. Uh, here they are on the back stretch. This is heading towards the corridor. Yeah. And this is the move that Stay Hungry makes from the three hole to brush to the front. This was pretty easy. Let's see if there's any interference there. He crosses over and... Ooh, oh boy. Oh baby. Looked like there might have been a little bit of contact there. Wow. Okay. So that's okay. that's inquiry number that's one. That's inquiry number one. And Hayden Hanover would have been the uh, victim of that. And if we can get to the uh, final turn into the top of the stretch here, we're going to take a look at inquiry number two. Here's no, here's Stay Hungry again waiting for some sort of a decision by the judge. And, and we have a super tight photo, too, that we is do. huge. Well, here's the one thing I've, I, I think the judges do the inquiry before they actually look at the photo. Oh, I didn't that's, know that's that. Kinda the, that's the way I used to do it with Metal Lance. You know, they, they uh, take a look at the inquiry and the, and the films that the uh, camera crew uh, provides them. Then they look at the photo. I so, did not know that. Yeah, it's a process. It's a process. Here's the final turn. There's uh, Doug McNair. Now, how many pylons does he go inside? He's safe there. He's safe there. He's safe there. No, he's not safe there. One, oh, boy. One, two, three. And it makes a difference whether you're on the turn or on the straightaway. When okay. you're on the turn, you're cutting off ground a little bit. Or on the straightaway, not hey, so much. Hey, hey right. guys. Yeah, go ahead, Rob. I'm not sure what the rule is in Ohio, but in Pennsylvania, you can hit the bottom and be inside. If you hit the bottom of the pylon inside, that's not inside the pylons. Okay. Now, I do not know. I'll be very honest. I do not know. Now, I do not know. I'll be very honest. I do not know what the rule is in the state of Ohio. Ohio. All right. Well, the numbers, the complete orders, the complete order of the top four has now been posted on the board. However, it certainly is not official yet. It's four, four five, one, two. That's Hayden Hanover, uh, who finished fourth. So we know he will be in the final no matter what happens uh, during this inquiry. DRF Harness, uh, Derek Ivner, editor of DRF Harness, has just popped into the booth, and he's got that, that coy smirk on his face. Like, what's going on here? Could there be a more non-eventful first heat oh. and then a more eventful second heat? It's unreal. Yeah, and it's, it's my job and your job to try and explain all this, and uh, we're going to have to try and play judges here. And I, I don't I'm think glad looks, that's not my job because yeah, they're under the gun yeah, right now. In this spot, I don't think it looks good. I really don't. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just the first one, too. I mean, just because the horse did not... That he, that he crossed he, over. Just because the horse didn't make a break doesn't mean there wasn't interference. He might be guilty on both of these inquiries. It's possible. It's possible that he could be. So, yep. again, as the judges continue to take uh, a look at this, and they're going to take their time, and I understand that, and that's the right thing to do. There's Doug McNair. He can only just sit and wait for the voice of Roger or maybe peer out at the infield tote board. Here's another look at the replay here as uh, safe there on the pylons. Didn't go he inside, didn't go that, inside one. that one. That's number one. Uh, That's number two. And he's going to clip this one, too, number three. Oh, can't wait to see how this turns out. Yeah. We are on the edge of our seats here in the broadcast booth. Still staring out at the board there. There's Doug McNair, hoping that he does not have to return to the paddock and instead visit the winner's circle. I mean, and, you know, I don't want to speculate, but that's kind of what we're here to do. Yes. Even if they... Oh, oh here we go. Here's Roger. Number four, Stay Hungry, has been disqualified. Wow. And placed fourth okay. for interference with number that. two in that backstretch incident. Placed the winner, number five, Dorsodero Hanover. Here's the interference. Yep. There's contact right there. I believe there I, is I was, Hayden Hanover. I was just about yeah. to say that. Even if they don't take the pylons against him, okay. he's going to be fourth because Hayden Hanover finished third. All right. Well, he, he will have a chance to redeem himself in the yeah. final. From the seven from, or eight from, hole. From the seven or eight hole. And that's not going to be easy. But uh, but that is wow. huge for Dorsodoro Hanover huge. and Courtly Choice because Dorsodoro is going to be one, two, and Courtly is going to be three, four off of just a monster effort and recovery. Yeah, but you can't be too uh, confident in him at the moment either. You need him to stay flat. And you know who you know who is breathing the biggest sigh of relief? 
the Teagues yes. with Lather Up. Yes. They sat back and watched uh, all this drama. Poor Doug McNair. Wow. But it's not over yet. Like I said, it's not over yet. There's Matt Kikaley, who will inherit the victory via disqualification at 5-1. to one. I had a lot of people tell me about this horse this week. Congratulations, folks. If you cashed a nice ticket there on Doris to Door Hanover, you were going to inherit the victory and uh, be placed first. New order of finish, 5-1-2-4. So, All right. Yeah. As if they needed any help, the Burke Brigade now with the winner. <laughs> man, oh man. Well, listen, they won the jug last year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, filibuster Hanover. So uh, you know, sometimes certain places uh, are your lucky places. Coming across the track uh, for the uh, photo here, the ownership line. The number of people coming to the winner's circle. Yeah. It's a steady flow. Well, when you hang out with the Burke Brigade, Roger, that's the way it works. They hang out in groups and bunches. It's an eclectic group. Yes, it is. That's a great way to say it. Here's Mac Cayley here. He's going to make his way back to the winner's circle. Not quite uh, in. Oh, here Matt, he is. you might as well take a turn. Take a turn. They're still crossing the track. <laughs> <laughs> it does take a while, folks, to uh, get everybody across here because we've got horses warming up uh, for some later races. We don't want any accidents out there in that particular case. Oh, look at that smile on Matt Cayley's face. I, I guess we got lucky. Man, oh, man, that is crazy. All right, it's official. Oh, here they come. They're coming from the other end. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Dave, how many people are coming in this yeah, direction oh. from, the, from the back stretch? Judas Priest, is there anyone left over there? I don't know. This looks like 100 people. Are they going to fit everybody in there? We'll find out. That's Tell you one thing, contract. there's plenty of empty spaces on the back side. <laughs> <laughs> Roger's right. Plenty of empty spaces as well. Let's see. At this time, about to come to the winner's circle. Place the winner. Second elimination. Number five, Dorsodoro Hanover. Burke Racing Stable. Silver Purnell Levy. Weaver Buscemi. Wingfield Five of Ohio. Ron Burke, the trainer. Matt Kakele in the sulky. Three-year-old galley with some beach somewhere out of Deer Valley Miss. Place the winner of the second elimination of the Little Brown Jug on the disqualification. Place fourth, the four, stay hungry. Five, one, two, four. It's official. There you see the ownership group there, and you've got some uh, more than a few previous Little Brown Jug winning connections, including the Wingfield. That's five, Limelight Beach, a uh, big uh, surprising upset winner of uh, several years ago. Meanwhile, here we go, trying to assemble this massive crowd in for what will be a cherished photo. More people still coming across. The man, road. oh man. How's Brad Conrad going to do this? Uh, he's he's, he's going to make more than a horse. He might. <laughs> and folks, we still have the all important uh, finale, the draw and then the finale coming yeah. up in race 20. Uh, yeah. Not going to want to miss that one. Yeah, and, and folks, by the way, now that the judges have made their decision, their next uh, job will be to uh, draw the posts uh, for the final, which will be race number 20 today. So plenty of time to catch our breath, yes. I believe. Take a, another deep breath and settle in for what figures to be one of the wildest finals uh, yeah. maybe ever. In maybe a few breaks history. and a triple inquiry. <laughs> no, don't do that to us. We had enough trouble explaining this one. Anyway, what we do have to do is pay everybody off here. The prices are in as it is official. Dave, take it away. Dorsoduro Hanover, 5-1 Perfecta, 35-20, 5-1-2 try, 178-60. The double, 1-5-22-20. Here's Roger for a, a not-so-easy rundown. Results are official. Six, number 5, Dorsoduro Hanover.